Hello, I'm Michael Sterner. I'm the treasurer of the International Society of Tropical Foresters. And I am here to introduce our uh, presentations on the subject of the Tropical Forest Foundation. Um, Sheila Ord and I had the idea um, maybe a year or two ago to organize um, a talk on the topic of the Tropical Forest Foundation. And um, I had the good fortune to be involved uh, briefly with the foundation in uh, 2007, eight. And um, I thought it was a very interesting organization because it really embodied <clears throat> something that a lot of us believe in, sort of an ideal of forestry um, in that it brought together uh, industry, academia, and conservationists um, to promote scientific active forest management that also protected uh, multiple other values. Um, and we're going to hear more from past board members um, on our uh, panel today. Um, but I just want to give a little bit of background. Probably if you're here, you already know something about the Tropical Forest Foundation. Um, but one great way, I think, to learn about what it was and in some ways continues to be um, is to look at one of their own um, pamphlets or presentations that we found in the archives. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through that briefly, just take a quick look at uh, a few of these slides um, to give you an idea of the international scope of the organization, the fact that it worked in uh, Latin America, Brazil specifically, in Southeast Asia and Indonesia, with some ongoing activity there, um, as well as in Central Africa and other important forested regions of the tropics. Um, also going to show you a list of partners and members of the organization and talk a little bit about reduced impact logging, which was a big program and uh, from training uh, or something that in which TFF provided training. Okay, so um, second slide here. What is or what was the Tropical Forest Foundation? It's a, it was a coalition of industry, conservation, and scientific leaders working together to achieve sustainable management of tropical timber in the major producing regions. All right, <clears throat> here are some of the uh, partnerships and projects. Um, you see the USAID, World Wildlife Fund, Caterpillar, Steel, Chainsaws, Nature Conservancy, Wildlife Conservation Society, International Tropical Timber Organization, and the US Forest Service. When do you ever see these organizations coming together anymore uh, to collaborate and cooperate? But that's a big part of why I think TFF was such an interesting organization. Now, there's also some <clears throat> interesting photos here. Uh, we see some maps of where um, some of their project work was being done. Um, and then we get down into reduced impact logging. And I think we're going to hear more about that <clears throat> from some of our presenters. But um, it's a little bit like uh, forest certification. It required documentation, proper planning, use of technology, as well as some really specific skills that are applied on the ground as far as directional felling and trained workforce and, and other operations. Um, here's a, a photo from one of their reduced impact logging training sessions. Um, here's learning chainsaw operations and safety. Um, let's see, here we see some trees that have been marked for felling or perhaps for retention. Um, also some of the skitter removals here, key part of this being the planning out of roads and skid trails in advance. And um, then also some aerial views of traditional logging and what that often results in, slash and burn, clear falling, versus reduced impact logging, where you just see individual gaps, very little road impact, and so forth. So that's just to start. That's an overview. And we're going to learn more from our speakers in a few minutes. Thank you very much.